Hello, everybody. I'm watching Gilmore Girls and playing Harry Potter. Mysterious and a bit unsettling. What to do? Lumos. There they are, the Ashwinders. Oh, 
Hardly felt it. Might want to look up. Belly arms. Give it back. Arrest the momentum. Incendio. Shame nobody saw that. Revelio. Rebellion. That's it. This is for Rookwood. A lamb to perhaps it's dinner. Propeller. Glacier. Sebastian. 
Revelio. Robin, hello! This is an awesome game. I'm loving it. Sorry I didn't see you. Looks there. rather dark in there. Never stopped me before. I retrieved the helmet from the Ashwinders. Well done! This is sure to impress Ranrock. The helmet shines even more brightly than I imagined. The etchings, the contour of the profile, remarkable. It looks stunning, Lord Gok. I see why you wanted it back. You did the thieves a service by recovering it. I know many a goblin who would have killed for it. Ah, then I am glad to be rid of it myself. Thank you. This should earn Ranrock's trust. I will take it to him immediately. It may distract him from his search. His search? It, uh, it is merely an inkling. You have impressed me greatly, friend. I am glad that I trusted you. We shall speak soon. Best to keep our arrangement quiet for now. Yes, Many will not believe that our aims might possibly be aligned. Hello, friend. I wonder if you might stop by the three broomsticks when you can. I would like your help with something. As I mentioned, my sister Anne misses Hogwarts, and she hasn't been herself lately. I'd like to take you up on your promise to visit her with me. I'm heading to Feldcroft soon, so I'll look forward to seeing you there. It's just south of Hogwarts. By the way, hope you're faring well with the blasting curse. It's still one of my favorites. Now that you've attended Beast's class, I've asked Deke to assist you in using the room. your studies in that regard. Please meet him there when you can. I've not heard from my yeah. uncle Roland in quite some time. I've been beside myself with worry. Could you meet me in the courtyard? Yeah. Allow me to put you out of your misery. I right, need to find an enemy people. If I wanted this little excitement, I'd have a job at a bank. Levy I heard the call. Yes. Protego! Stupid! Expelliarmus! Leviosa!
What are you up to now? Ironically, I didn't see ahead of time how bored I'd be in divination class. <clears throat> Paper Mario, which Paper Mario? What do we have here? I hope those assignments were... I've completed all of my tasks, Professor Onai. Very well done. Although I must admit, I did have something of a premonition that you would follow through. Now, as you have no doubt sharpened your perception by completing my assignment, I am curious based upon the knowledge that one's present and even one's past may reveal traces of what is to come. What do you see in your own future? There will be hardship, I'm sure of it. But I see triumph in the end. A measured perception. Very wise. Nothing worthwhile is ever easy. And that is why such futures are worth striving for. But this talk of tomorrow should not divert us from your present success. I shall inform our good deputy headmistress of your exemplary performance. And if that performance is any omen of what your future may hold, then I for one see great things. Channel your magic towards your targets. X, square, oh. Ooh, I have the thousand year door. It's so good. You have I it. I think that's probably my now, favorite one. Now, why not practice the new spell on the training dummy? I think you have it. <laughs> yes, I do. I was actually playing it the other day. Hold on, just for this, for shits and giggles. Hold on. Hold on. Ba da 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 ba ba. <laughs> Rebellion. There is some shit going on. This game. Look at these guys. Look at them. Look, she's dancing Pondiaka. <clears throat> Bye, guys. <laughs>
teach me how to use the nad sack to rescue magical beasts. I don't know. You know what? I did an update today. They released an update for the computer version of this game. And um, I think it messed up the game. I think he was hungry. More like he doesn't like you. Balthasar loves me. I'm... think a puff scheme's best friend would be another Signal me sir No, but this game is gorgeous, though. Deke? Ah, Deke is so happy to see you. And Deke noticed this bag in the room the other day. You must need it to help with your schoolwork. Deke has seen one of these before. Deke calls it a knapsack. Perfect for gathering and transporting beasts. Pleasant little breeze. I have been thinking about something Professor Howen said in Beasts class, that I should study as many beasts as I can on my own time. Oh my God, she beasts. also mentioned that poachers have been active in the area. So, perhaps the beasts will be safer with us than out on their own. Precisely what Deke was thinking. You see, the room knew exactly what you needed, and luckily, Deke can show you how to best use the knapsack and where. Come along then. Come along now. Ooh. Ooh. Our first stop will be beyond the castle grounds. We can leave now, or you can come and find Deke when you're ready to go. go. I'm ready to learn how to use the knapsack. Perfect. Deke loves an outing. Let's go. Let's get. Let's get it, 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 let's get it. Excuse me. Isn't it a beautiful game? It really is like you're watching a Harry Potter movie. A nasty poacher. Deke hated working for him. He did horrible things to beautiful beasts. It was during those days that Deke first saw a knapsack. Uh, it'll be nice to see one used for good. We have arrived. Deke enjoys coming here to watch the beasts, especially the puffle of puffskeens nearby. Puffskeen. It'll be nice to keep them safe. All you will need to do is get close, direct the open knapsack toward the puffskeen, and in it'll go. All right. No, you don't.
Got him! You got one! I got a pop skin! Lumos. Got him. Got him. Professor Howen will never be. Did I get all of them? Where the pup skins are? I think that's all. Yeah. I got all of that. Ooh, I find a egg. Yeah. Whatever they're called. Yeah. All right, let's talk to Beak. I managed to rescue a puff skin. You can rescue as many as the knapsack will hold. Poachers capture puff skeins and, well, Deke isn't sure what they do with them. Deke is certain they will be safer with you. Now, not all beasts will be as simple to rescue as a puff skein. Deke suggests you next find a beast that can fly. A jobanol, perhaps. All right. Where would I find one? Deke knows of some to the west, nesting in a large tree overlooking Hogwarts. But we must be careful. Deke has seen poachers in the area recently. Deke will meet you there whenever you're ready. Hello, Deke. Shall we continue? Oh, good. Oh Deke God, was worried about you, best. what with all the poachers in the area. Please. Perhaps Please. we should work quickly. The jobanols are just here in this large tree. If it's helpful, Deke has seen Levioso used to slow flying beasts. Easier to get in close and use the knapsack. Then I shall go and rescue a jobanol. Good luck. Deke will be waiting. Here's the chocolate remnants of those cookies. Let me answer. Now, now, I'm only trying to help. Lumos. 
No need to be difficult. I mean you no harm. Love you also. I rescued a jobbernal. Deke hopes your jobbernal finds the knapsack nice and cozy. Poachers want them for their feathers and are not kind when they gather them. Are there any other beasts nearby? Just one that Deke knows of, a herd of moon calves. They live in a clearing of trees up this footpath. Deke will see you there. Hello, Deke. Is this the clearing you mentioned? It is. Moon calves gather near the large tree with the spiral pattern in front, but only under the light of the moon. So, unfortunately, unless you have a way to hasten time, you might sometimes have to wait until nightfall to see them. I shall go and find a moon calf then. Deke will be waiting for your return. How cute are you? I like Do Lord come up right, won't you? I want one, they're so cute. Let me also. Yes. Everything's all right now. Deke. <laughs> I want to try to catch one more. So I want to get the thing. Oh, where'd they go? They all ran away. No, they get the. <laughs> Levioso! There, there. Not going to hurt you. Alright, we need one more so I can finish the... Leviosa! Wingardium Leviosa! Leviosa! Boom! So <laughs> I'll look after you. Alright, I got him. And I got those 10 of them. Challenge complete. We rescued 10 deep. Now let's go back to this little deek. It was a bit trickier than the others, but I have a moon calf now. Another beast, safe and sound. Shame we didn't see the moon calves dancing. It's a marvelous sight. Deke supposes you're finished here. 
You'll be able to rescue many more beasts, but for now, let's bring the ones you've gathered back to the room. All right. Deke will meet you back in the room whenever you're ready. Anise chandanise, tu di marhu pedi. There you are. Now we need to show the beast you rescued their new home. But um, not enough room to let them out here. Imagine all those beasts running amok. That wouldn't do at all. No, 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 no. Perhaps if you focus on what your beasts need, the room will provide. I'm focusing. 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 Uh-oh. Hmm. What exactly did you think of? It's a little greenhouse. Heavens! You've done it! But what is it? Deke isn't sure. Only one way to find out. How are we going to find out? Meet you inside when you're ready. Taco, let's go. Look at this! Oh, it's thank amazing! You, Robin. Where are we, Deke? It seems to be a place for your beasts to live, a vivarium of some sort. Boy, well, your beast will be quite comfortable here. They'll live healthy, safe lives. Perhaps you want to release them, let them see their new home. the vivarium will be a fitting new home for your beasts. Indeed. I only hope we'll have enough space for all of them. Deke hopes so too. But if you do run out of room, Madam Peck at Brood and Peck in Hogsmeade will help to find safe homes for them. Any beasts that the room can't hold? Yes, she's well known for helping to care for beasts in need, and she'll give you a fair price for them. Speaking of care, beasts that are well-fed and groomed will provide you with valuable magical materials, such as puffskin hair, for example. If you gather some magical materials from your beasts, Dee can show you how to use them. Very well. I shall let you know when I have some. Deke thinks you are doing good work here. Oh my god, I love it. It's like a little Tamagotchi, but in Hogwarts. Okay, this is officially my favorite part of the game. Officially, this is awesome.
I've collected some magical materials, Deke. So cute, right? Now, the, Deke can Deke show you how to use area. them. First, you'll need to use this spellcraft to conjure an enchanted loom. An enchanted loom? Exactly. It will allow you to use your magical materials to weave magic into the very threads of your clothing, making your clothing more useful in a variety of ways. Why don't you try it? Deke thinks you'll be impressed with what the loom can do. I'll go and experiment with the loom now. Deke. Came out nicely. Nice. I should show Deke. <laughs> Deke, look what I did. I used the enchanted loom, Deke. Wonderful. Will I be able to weave even more powerful magic into my clothing with the loom? You will, by rescuing even more powerful beasts. For now, however, Deke suggests you explore the vivarium and get to know the beasts you've already rescued. Thank you for your help, Deke. This is fine. Cross one. 
response training. Who goes there? You will. Hello? Stupid. <laughs> Rebellion. I should dismount here. You made it. Sebastian. Enjoying the view? Keeping an eye on things. Feldcroft isn't what it used to be. No one has felt safe here since Ranrock's loyalists took a peculiar interest in that castle over there. Rookwood Castle. My uncle Solomon is a former aura and refuses to look into it, even after Anne was cursed by one of them. Possibly with a wand, no less. I heard a goblin refer to wizard kind as wand carriers. A goblin's forbidden from carrying wands. Precisely. That's why I'm on the hunt for answers. If I'm to cure her, I need to understand what happened to her. Anne was always the most mischievous of the three of us. Which is saying something, knowing me and Ominous. I'm hoping a surprise visit from me and a new friend from Hogwarts will help lift her spirits. Bring back the Anne I used to know. Come on, I'll take you to my uncle's. This way. Feldcroft used to be a lot livelier. With Ranrock's lot wandering about all the time, everyone stays out of sight. Here we are. My sister should be just inside. Aha! Sebastian, where did you... Is that what I think it is? We've been over this, boy. Hey. Shrivel figs cannot reverse a curse. Nothing can. The sooner you accept that reality, the better. But we haven't tried everything. There is no cure! When will you accept that? Never. I can never accept it. <laughs> Now look what you've done. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to see that. It's okay. If you don't mind, I just need a moment alone. 
poor Sebastian. Not the visit he'd hoped for. I'm sorry about earlier. Those bouts of pain are difficult to bear. Are you all right, Anne? Excuse me. I didn't mean to intrude. You didn't, truly. And I'm all right. The pain from this curse comes in bouts, and often suddenly. It's not anyone's fault. It's nice to meet you, by the way. You must be the new fifth year Sebastian told me about. I am. Sebastian and I met during a rather lively duel in defense against the dark arts. Oh dear, Professor Hecate. She's a powerful witch. And she knows how to keep students like my brother, and me, in line. I do miss Hogwarts, but I wouldn't mind being at Feldcroft, really, if it wasn't so dreary now. Between the goblins at the castle and my uncle fighting with Sebastian whenever he's home, it's not the cosy retreat it once was. Sebastian mentioned something about your uncle being an ex-Aura, but refusing to go after Ranrock's loyalists. I must say, I wasn't prepared for him to be as angry as he was. Uncle Great Solomon here. is frustrated by what happened to me and by Sebastian for thinking he can fix it. They both mean well, I know they do, but my uncle is right. This curse cannot be undone. I can feel it. Sebastian cannot take away my pain. Perhaps you can help him to understand that. Maybe she, has, she just has like gallbladder stuff. Have they tried going to a doctor? I'll do my best. I can promise to speak with him about it. Thank you. His search for a cure is futile, I'm afraid. I'm getting tired. I should probably rest. Thank you for stopping I know, by. No, it's like watching a freaking a freaking movie. I wish you well. Where's Solomon? That boy will fray my last nerve. Excuse me, Mr. Sallow. Oh, yes, Sebastian's friend. I apologize on behalf of my nephew. He doesn't know when to stop. I was about to check on Anne. Did I see you come from the house? How is she? She's all right. She said she was going to rest. Nothing can be done for her. I understand you've tried everyone from Nurse Blaney to St. Mungo's to no avail. We have. My nephew thinks he knows better than the healers. Perhaps the healers don't know everything, sir. Sebastian is single-mindedly focused on finding a way to help his sister. If there is a cure, he will find it. Your faith in Sebastian is misplaced. Some sort of dark magic cursed Anne, and the goblins aren't likely to explain themselves any time soon. Giving her hope is cruel. The only thing to do now is keep Anne comfortable and stay out of the loyalist's way. I understand what you're saying, sir. Good. I know what's best for Anne and Sebastian. They are my stubborn brother's children. Especially Sebastian. If you really want to be of help, you'll make sure Sebastian does what he should do, not what he wants to do. He's no idea the harm he could do if he doesn't stop. I hope you'll remember what I've said. Good day. I ought to see how Sebastian's faring. Yeah. Why will he not listen to me? She's my sister. You're right, Dad. How are you doing, Sebastian? You got a first-hand glance at what I'm dealing with. I apologize for my uncle. It's a little infuriating. I'll admit, I wasn't expecting him to be so angry. He's always angry. He's been angry since my parents died. After Anne was hurt, he only grew worse. It's as though he blames me somehow, always calling me my father's son, as if that's an insult. I'm the one trying to help her. He's simply given up. Both Anne and your uncle seem genuinely convinced that nothing more can be done for her. I refuse to believe that. Anne's pain is more than physical. It has changed her entirely. I miss my sister. And I'm going to get her back. Come with me. I need to show you where it happened. Ranrock's loyalists are capable of so much more than people realize. They should not be underestimated. All the debris you'll see is from whatever's going on at that abandoned estate. They've been digging for something. Up there, 
on that plateau is where they cursed Anne. This way. How much longer are we expected to dig through this rubble? Ramrock knows what he's doing. It's an honor to be a part of it. Only good wizard is a dead wizard in my book. To get this, how can I get this right now? He did it steal lawyers, rangers, cross bolts. Ugly ass, more ugly ass glasses. That's annoying. Reminds me of the time I nearly fell out of a cart at Gringotts. I was only young, mind. We are not like I'd fall out now. What's that? How nice of you to stop. Let me 
Odysseus. Protego. I confess, that was a bit more than I bargained for. I tried to warn you. Repair it. Those loyalists deserved what they got. Couldn't agree more. This is where it happened. We smelled smoke in the middle of the night. When we looked outside, flames were shooting from the estate. Before my uncle and I could stop her, Anne rushed out racing towards the fire, worried someone would be hurt. She came face to face with a horde of goblins, frantically trying to stamp out the flames. Suddenly, an icy voice drifted out from somewhere in the smoke. Children should be seen and not heard. A blinding blast followed. They didn't even give her a chance to run. It seems an awfully violent response to a child wandering by. What were they trying to hide? My thoughts exactly. It may be grasping at Billywigs, but I keep thinking that there might be something here that could lead me to whoever cursed Anne. Might be the only way to learn what type of magic harmed her, which could help me find a cure. Perhaps you're right. The Loyalists are everywhere, but they do seem to be spending a lot of time here, and it's likely they're hiding something. And at Rookwood Castle. Shall we have a look around? They seem to have set up camp here for a specific reason. They have stations for everything. Revelio. I've heard that goblin dig sites like these are popping up everywhere. Hmm. It's a wonder the Ministry isn't doing more. Always armed and ready for a fight, Ranrock's loyalists. Revelio. <laughs> Whose home was this? A bit abandoned long since I've lived here. Rumor was a Hogwarts yeah. professor lived here once, centuries ago. But that's all I ever heard. Yeah. It might be worth taking a closer look at the house itself. Revelio. Sebastian, over here. Do you think that this was damaged by the fire the night that Anne was cursed? Could be. But it looks to me as though this was intentional. Rebellion! This well looks familiar. Sebastian, I've seen this before. This house, the well, the view. What do you mean? When? Give me a moment. I'll explain in a second. Revelio. Hmm. 
Sebastian, this house did belong to a Hogwarts professor hundreds of years ago. Who? What do you- I found a pensive that day in the restricted section with a memory that showed this house. There was a little girl and a drought. The keepers have shown me other memories as well. The girl became a Hogwarts professor. Her name was Isadora Morganark. She was one of the keepers. The keepers? Like in Quidditch? And you found a pensive in the library? I'm not following you. I realize it's a lot to take in. I'm not even sure I understand it all yet. And no, not like Quidditch. They call themselves keepers because they're protecting some type of knowledge. It has to do with the vault at Gringotts. Let me see if I've got this straight. You have Ranrock and Rookwood after you because of something you found at Gringotts where you ended up via a port key. You can see traces of an ancient magic that you think Ranrock is trying to harness. And now you've been witnessing memories left by keepers. Yep. Oh, and this house belonged to a Hogwarts professor who was one of these non-Quidditch keepers hundreds of years ago. If I didn't know you, I think you were pulling my leg. It is all a bit much, isn't it, when you put it like that? The point is, we both have good reason to search this house. You for answers about what happened to Anne, and me for answers about the keepers. Look um, at this. It just came out last week. So Someone I'm piled this here for a reason. I'm just, uh... Is it blocking something? There's only one way to find out. Huh, a stairwell. Why bother blocking a stairwell? Luma! There might be something here worth a closer look. They've left all of this simply strewn about. Revelio tells me they're after something bigger. Ah. I traveled here to learn, but I long to help. My internal struggle is overwhelming. It's as though the magic wants to heal, and I am the one preventing it from doing so. Should I lo lose hope? Will I forever regret not having done more? I cannot look into their eyes knowing that I could lessen the burden of heartache. I saw the man leaving camp today, the one who so reminded me of my father. Surely, it wouldn't hurt to help him. I could further my research, of course, but that would be a fortuitous consequence of doing something good with this ability. Seems these journal entries are from Isadora's travels. You're not going to believe this. I can see the Undercroft. What? A daydream? Because that happens to me too. Lumos. I know it sounds strange, but... Honestly, I... nothing you say sounds strange to me anymore. Fair okay. enough. I can see the Undercroft through this stone wall as though it's a window. This has happened before. I'm listening. I think it's to do with my ability to see traces of ancient magic. But you said you didn't really understand it, and that you couldn't wield it. That's true, and I'm still not sure what it all means. What I do know is that my ability allows me to travel through these windows I see. Wait. We can get straight to the Undercroft from here. <laughs> Ominous will be flawed. We can. But perhaps best not to tell anyone else about this for now. Even Ominous. Understood. Well then, invisible secret ancient magic passageway, here we come. Here we come! I'm tempted to hold my breath. Let's go, buddy. Let's go. <laughs> Sweet. Why would the door lead us here? Sebastian, look.
Why hide a triptych here? Seems as if something's missing. A note? Let's have a look. helpful in the notes? Not really. A rune symbol. I've seen similar symbols used by the keepers. I've been thinking. A keeper lived in that house centuries ago, and Ranrock and his lot have been searching there. You said that goblins may be wielding some form of this ancient magic. Do you think Anne was cursed by ancient magic? I can't be sure, of course, but I don't think so. I didn't see any traces of it around your sister. Hmm. Very well. But that doesn't mean it's not ancient magic. There's still so much we don't know about it. True. Perhaps this triptych will lead us to answers. Then we'll have to unravel what this all means. But now I need to see Ominous. Don't worry, I won't tell him anything. Did I mention that, apparently, Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here, in Hogwarts? You did not. Sounds worth looking into. Any idea where in the castle? No idea. Ominous just learned of it. I'll let you know what I find out. I have no idea our visit to Sian would unfold into all of this. My head's an utter mess. But I'm glad you told me everything you did. I'll be in touch. Till then. Meet me near the ruins of Falbarton Castle. After dark, do not tell anyone.
Hi guys, I'm back. Alright, so, hi Keith. Let's go to astronomy class first. And then we will go see Nati. Off on another adventure, are we? Yes, we are. And your reading is the dragon. That's exciting, I suppose. Perhaps you're due for an adventure. I love my own. Ladies, Professor Shah, astronomy is not divination. You won't find the mysteries of the cosmos charted out on your palms or at the bottom of your teacups. Alas, the heavens remain hazy to the starry eyed. Now, if you were to devote yourselves to persistent and painstaking observation, you just might catch a glimpse. With that in mind, please take your telescopes. Tonight, we will be on the observation deck. Still don't have your own? You can't be the new student forever, you know. You can share with Mr. Takar. Here, I can adjust that for no, you. No, no, bring it into focus on your own. <laughs> Now, I expect all of you to put in your stargazing hours outside of class. Is that clear? But, Professor, it's freezing out. Mere cold didn't stop the great stargazers of the past. Look only to the astronomy tables they erected throughout the highlands from which they gazed millennia ago on the very selfsame stars above us. Is that clear? Yes, ma'am. <sighs> Dismissed. <laughs> Oh, uh, hello. Good to see you again. We Ravenclaws must stick together. <laughs> oh, hello, Amit. Nice to see you again. Did I hear Professor Shaw say that you don't have your own telescope? I have a spare one you could borrow for the rest of term. Oh, thank you. That's very kind of you, Amit. Are you sure you won't need it? I'm certain. It's my old one. I finally got my hands on the new Celestia Contemplor. You've heard of it, I assume? I mean, of course you have. It's only the pinnacle of all personal stargazing implements. But my old model's not too shabby either. Goblin cut glass, first-rate optical enchantments. Hate to think such a fine instrument is just collecting dust. Well, I... I thank you, Amit. Think nothing of it. Anyway, the telescope's in the storage room right underneath us. You can't miss it. I have some, uh... Reading to finish on the lower deck. Come find me there afterwards and bring the telescope. There's something I want to talk to you about. Okay, I'm it. I tried to put off my stargazing as long as I could. Oh, good, that this was his old telescope. <laughs> Looks practically brand new. <sighs> These A rich pristine kids. night. I have the telescope. It's nicer than I'd expected. I would not offer a prospective stargazer a third-rate lunoscope. <laughs> but there is, um, something else. Yes, what is it? 
You remember those astronomy tables Shah was going on about? It just so happens I've been reading up on them a little myself. And it seems there may be one right here at Hogwarts. I believe we could use it to find hidden constellations. And you need someone to help find it. I do. Are you in? No one from the Gobstones Club will go with me. Said they'd rather get spit at by a stone than... Well, they are cowards. Let us get moving while the stars are still out. I'll show you how to use that telescope once we get there. I promise. No need to convince me. Let's get going. Brilliant. Go. You won't regret it. Shall we? The table is on a castle wall ahead. Look for a stone platform, something that doesn't quite belong. We'll know it when we see it. Onwards we go. Some say the locations of the tables were originally marked by centaurs for ritual stargazing. Huh. It is nice having a fellow stargazer to explore with. Happy to be here. It is good to leave the classroom now and then. It's not that creepy out here at night, is it? The Gobstones Club are cowards. Here I am, charging ahead. Uh, why don't you lead the way? If you're sure. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Oh, of course. It's just not as tidy as I expected. More cobwebs. Incendio. Do you think any spiders might be lurking about? Oh, no. Not this close to school, I mean. <laughs> Look, there's the table. I think you should do the honors. Go on, try it. The constellation should appear near the center of your view. As soon as you've lined up the telescope, we will be able to fill out our star chart. Stargazing is all about patience and precision. I know it is nearly impossible to contain your excitement at a moment like this, but keep steady. Gentle adjustments.
Ada! How Greek in the city is that? I was right about the tables. They really are gateways to the far stars, just as the book said. And your contribution was invaluable. Rest assured, you shall be credited in my memoirs one day. Thanks. Thank you, Amit. I look forward to reading them. And I look forward to writing them. <laughs> <laughs> this is only it's the so beginning. Funny. You will find more tables like this one throughout the grounds and forest, all beckoning to be discovered by a worthy astronomer. And if I have ever seen one, it's you. Oh, and about my old telescope, don't bother returning it. You should keep it. That's quite generous. Thank you. You are welcome. It has goblin cut glass and a gobbledygook inscription. I'm practically fluent in gobbledygook, you know. It's all in the throat, really, gobbledygook, you know, and, and how you pronounce your R's. Um, anyway, glad our adventure was a success. I will see you soon. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Psst, over here, quietly. Hi, Nate. I am glad that you received my owl. We need to stay low and remain quiet. Nate, what's going on? Why are we all the way out here? As promised, I did some investigating to find out what Harlow is up to. I followed him to the Hog's Head. I noticed him reading a letter. All I could see was that it was signed by and bore the seal of Victor Rookwood. And one other thing. Hallow mentioned you to his colleagues. They did not mistake you for someone else, did they? No, they didn't. 
Rookwood and Harlow are after me. Why did you lie to me? And what do they want with a Hogwarts student? Professor Fig told me to keep things quiet, but I know I can trust you, Natty. Rookwood and Harlow want something Professor Fig and I found at Gringotts. When were you at Gringotts? Just before I came to Hogwarts. In fact, it's why I was late to the sorting ceremony. A port key brought us there after the dragon attacked our carriage. What on earth? There's one more thing. It's a bit odd, if I'm honest. Professor Fig says I have a rare connection to a powerful form of ancient magic. Is that the magic you used fighting the trolls in Hogsmeade? I think so. I'm still learning, but I can see traces of it. And I've cast magic I can't otherwise explain. I know it's a lot to take in. <sighs> it is. And I will have more questions. For now, it's safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To all of us. And we can help to take them down for good. That letter is the tangible proof that Officer Singer needs. It is why I followed Harlow here and why I wrote to you. I need your help to retrieve it. I'll help you find the letter, Natty. I'm glad to hear it. First, we must access the castle keep. I'll check the main gate, see if you can find another way in. I do not see any guards, but we should still try to be as quiet as possible. Hollow is here after all. How nice to see you, my young friend.
Akio. Capulso. Akio. Descendo. Revelio. Wingardium Leviosa. I need to find a way into the gatehouse to open the gate for Natty. Be a man. Akio. That looks as if it might raise the gate. Descendo. Levioso. 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 Levioso.
Wingardium Leviosa. Arrest the momentum. until our sixth year. We could get past this gate instantly. Departure! Arrest the momentum. Arrest the momentum. Guardian Leviosa. Capulso. Wingardium Leviosa. Accio. Wingardium Leviosa. Capulso. Accio. Wingardium Leviosa. Bitch, you could have run in.
Revelio. Accio. Wingardium Leviosa. Accio. Wingardium Leviosa. Defaulter. Accio. I did it. Well done. I will be right up. I knew you could do it. This way. I will get the door. That is the main keep. My guess is that we'll find Hallow and the letter inside. We'll need to be careful once we get... I hear them. Hi, Wang. Do you know that hippogriff? Very well. New plan. I get the evidence and you free that hippogriff. Agreed? This is our chance. Go! Blast it! There's got to be another way to get up to the roof. Somewhere. I hope that he stays out of trouble. the safest place to sneak into. I tell you, Hogwarts is lucky they've got protection charms. Revelio! Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. Leviosa. Oh, 
Hello, Hamora. Revelio. I hope Natty's having an easier time of it. in a wooden box! Hello, Hamora. Revelio.
Revelio. the Hogwarts Express. Must be returning from an unscheduled run. It's incredible, isn't it? Exciting. <laughs> it was exhilarating, wasn't it? I wasn't sure we were going to make it out alive. <laughs> there was no need to worry. I had it all under control. Were you able to find the letter? Summoned it straight out of Harlow's hands. 
I will say, I did not expect to see him cast the killing curse at us. He won't forget this. Be on your guard. Of course. What did the letter say? That Rookwood's looking for a phoenix. <laughs> not sure where he will find one. But it also included Harlow's orders to inspect that castle for the poachers. Enough to connect Harlow to the crimes. I shall deliver the letter to Officer Singer. She'll have to do something when she sees it. Now, tell me, where did you meet these hippogriffs? I've only met Hiram before. Poppy introduced us. Poppy Sweeting knows a hippogriff. <laughs> of course she does. Poppy will be relieved to know that High Wing's safe. I came to the right person for help. My mother will be worried. I must go. Seek me out soon. I shall have much to tell you. I love my hippogriff. Shiza, 25% complete. Pretty game. can't imagine how... Regarding the goblin you mentioned, why don't we meet at the map chamber to discuss that and our next steps? Anything to do with the dark heart should be avoided. It's too risky. Anything to do with Salazar Slytherin is worth the risk. I can't agree. And I'll not say a word more. I'm sorry. I won't give up. What were you and Ominous speaking about? He's being ridiculous. Apparently Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here in Hogwarts. Ominous swears it was used for the Dark Arts, so he wants nothing to do with it. I reminded him that Anne needs a cure. This scriptorium could hold the answers we need. The Dark Arts do pique my interest. There's more to dark magic than people realize. The Gaunts know this. Better than most. Perhaps I've spoken out of turn. Ominous's family history is personal to him. I'd like to know more about it, if you wouldn't mind telling me. I won't repeat it. Very well. But do keep this between us. Ominous learned dark magic from his parents. Are you familiar with the Cruciatus Curse? Crucio, correct? The Cruciatus Curse also known as the torture curse, inflicts excruciating pain on the victim. Apparently, his parents and older siblings had no qualms about casting us on muggles for sport. Ominous described the sound of the victim's cries as horrific, so the first time he was asked to cast it himself as a child, he couldn't bring himself to do it. As punishment, his family cast it on him. The anguish was so bad that when asked to cast it again, he relented. I have repeatedly assured Ominous he did what he had to, but he still hasn't forgiven himself. How horrible. Poor Ominous. He was only a child. He shouldn't blame himself. 
After that incident, the rift between Ominous and his family only grew. That is until I came along. Every moment he isn't at Hogwarts, he's with us in Feldcroft. Ominous trusts me. And more often than not, he winds up listening to me. I'll remind him of that when I follow up about the Scriptorium. Watch for my owl. I'll have news soon enough. I'll make Ominous understand. He'll change his mind. What are you up to now? All right, guys, for now, I'm going to take a break from playing this game. I had a lot of fun. Thanks for hanging out with me for the past, Lord Jeebus, two hours and 14 minutes. Um, we got pretty, we, we learned things. Honestly, this thing is like really awesome. Um, best game I've played in a long time. I brought down the settings so this way it would uh, run better so it's not playing like at like the craziness that the game was built on but it's beautiful still um but yeah uh, anyways love you guys i will see you soon and um you never know maybe i'll go back on and start playing 